Executive Director of the Institute of Energy Securities, uh, Parkwesi Anamosechi. Good morning. Good morning to you, economic to your viewers. Right. Kojo Poku says there's no hope. We can't take advantage of the situation uh, of the fall uh, in, in price of crude. What do you think? Well, uh, I think that we have the necessary mechanism mm. uh, to take advantage of this situation. Unfortunately, all these mechanisms are broken down. And so, it is right. Um, the Tamoya refinery, the bulk oil storage and transportation, these are necessary mechanisms that are, were introduced to ensure that we have fuel security and also we are pushing against any price shock. However, they are not living up to expectation and uh, that's been a problem for us today. Um, they, their mandate they are now working on their mandate to ensure that we have all these uh, key essentials um, that will go to push in as Ghanaians. Okay, so, so how can we take advantage of the situation then? How can we empower boss uh, and Tema oil refinery? As it stands, we don't have the storage facilities. Well, this is a, a problem worldwide. U.S. is having the same problem. But we are looking at Ghana. We are net exporter of crude. How do we empower Tor to take advantage of the situation? Well, we have, we have, we have storage, but as uh, we are under utilizing the storage. Okay. The bulk oil storage and transportation have a storage of more than 350 uh, million liters. But as we speak today, I'm not sure they are even using up to 20% of that. And there is no single drop of fuel that we can call strategic uh, stock for the country. And so almost all the tanks are lying idle. If we can maximize its usage, then we'll say we will need extra tanks. Mm. The Tamoya refinery, they have more than 2.2 million liters, uh, uh, 220 million uh, liters capacity. Okay. For just crude oil, you can see about 2 million barrels of crude oil capacity. Ask me how much they are utilizing. And so all these storage are lying idle. 30% of the storage capacity of tall. It's not in good shape. It needs to be maintained over the past seven years. It's been like that. And so if we cannot take advantage of the little that we have, then nobody has a dedication to ask for more storage when you are underutilizing even what you have. Mm -hmm. I am certain that Corona has presented us an opportunity as a country right. and even Africa in general to take advantage of the low price uh, 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 of this commodity and refine them and sell. Unfortunately, in the top region, almost all the oil we use or fuel that we use are imported. Meanwhile, we are key producers when it comes to the global uh, equation. Nigeria, Angola, producing combination uh, when they are combined, they produce over 3.7 uh, million barrels a day. Ask me how much they refine. Mm -hmm. Ask me how much Ghana refines per day. Mm. A, a, a refined capacity of more than 45,000. Today, if we have to refine, we can't do more than 8,000 barrels a day. Mm -hmm. You can't achieve economies of scale when you are running a 28,000 barrel uh, uh, capacity, whilst your peers are running 2 million barrels per day. You can't be competitive. Mm. The moment you take on the business of refinery, you have plugged yourself onto an, an international equation. And so you need to be competitive with your price wherever you are. Because the price of fuel from Ghana should be the same as in the U.S. if you have to sell mm. to the OMCs or the marketers. Unfortunately, we are losing out because our structures are broken down. Well, uh, so we're hoping that, I mean, governments will take advantage of the situation and look at, you know, restructuring boards and also look at, you know, empowering TOR a lot more so that we can take advantage of the situation. We're